you are now entering another dimension. A dimension of sight and sound. A dimension of hot beats and dope lyrics. A dimension where fat laces and kangos meet skinny jeans and swag. You are now entering the hip hop zone. in nothing but a big old American car.
For years we have been tortured by the shrill voices of our nagging wives. But at last, we have found a man. A man who speaks to us all. A man who married for our sins. Let's everybody give it up for the Reverend Albert. Jeff Brown. <laughs> That's hilarious. What's going on? <laughs> Jeff Brown, what's good with you, brother? How are you, man? Okay, first, first, man, look. That is that your intro music? With yes, the sir. Yes, sir. Dum, dum, chum, dum, ba, dum, boom. Oh my God! Shout that's out to, shout out to Uncle Bravo. Uncle Bravo did that. Yes, sir. Bro, man, man. bro, man. Time. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. You got to stop saying all new hip hop is horrible. That's what it's about. That's the nephew I'm proud of. Wow. No doubt. No doubt. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yo, we got what up? It's the, with that beautiful introduction for us. I appreciate it, brother. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. We have to introduce you. All this right. is a very special brother. Oh, you know what I'm saying? That's been here before, had a great time before. We had to have him back. You know what I mean? So without further ado, Giraffe Ball's own, Mr. Jeff Brown. Thank What's you. good Thank with you, you brother? Hold it to Boko Shaw. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> uh, I'm good, man. I'm good. If yeah, I, uh, I'm hitting hard. I'm back to uh, back to stand up. I'm writing some stuff i'm producing some big stuff that i can't talk about right now okay uh, the creator is good man creator's good Life that's good. what's good man so tell us a little bit about some of the stuff that you've done before just so people can familiarize themselves with people that weren't on before you okay know. okay i'm gonna blaze through the last three decades real fast <laughs> uh 93, winner of the Bay Area Black Comedy Competition. 93, winner of Johnny Walker Red Comedy Competition. 94, winner of Star Search Comedy Competition. Uh, open up for Nita Baker, Little Vandrando, Sendret Bad, uh, 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 Earth, Wind & Fire, Shaka Khan, a uh, bunch of the people, Ray Charles, a bunch of people. Uh, then okay. start writing television, uh, punching up TV, uh, wrote a bunch of stuff, writing for D.L. Hughley right now, wrote for Steve Harvey, uh, wrote for Cat Williams, uh, and now, uh, and wrote a gang of music, uh, uh, it's on Giraffe Balls, if you get a chance, uh, Giraffe, as it is spelled, Balls, B-A-L-L-Z, no spaces, it is uh, my spot where I get high as giraffe balls as I'm getting right now. And I do beats and talk to younger people and just basically like I'm gonna do today, just can I can I cuss? Yes, sir. Oh yes, and I may may I give you carte blanche to my many, many fuck ups. <laughs> I have fucked up in so many most people have credentials about the universities they went to and who they studied under and all that shit. Not me. I done had life bust me in the fucking face. And here's how. And that's what I share. So let's get started because I've already gotten, well, started. Bro, it's a, it, it is a pleasure to have you on with us today on No Man Monday. You know what I'm saying? I had to give you that No Man introduction, brother. Yes, sir. Because well, this is... The place where men can be men. And yes. sometimes it, you know, it, it, it takes a brother, you know, of your stature, you know, to be able to express a lot of the points that us men have. Oh, shit. You know, well, thank that you, we bro. can't always get out. Look, look, you know, we can't well, always put it out there. Go ahead. Well, uh, if I may, uh, I can y'all hear that in the background? Y'all hear my wife is giving somebody the business right now. <laughs> That's what. That is. Hey, no, ma'am. Hey, <laughs> uh, who you cut? Somebody getting it, huh? No, no, I'm close. Who don't? Let me see. Can you hear me? See, this is this is this is no man Monday. You yeah, feel me? Yeah, this is yeah, what we are talking I'm, about. Look here. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, we do. We hustlers. We're hustlers in, in this house. Uh, you, I tell you what you can basically say every time I come home. I'm I come on, 
I, and I'm, I thank y'all for having me. And I'm, we're going to quit sucking up the fucking room with my energy. Uh, <laughs> they asked me where I get it from. I get it from my pops. Because with a man in the house, all the bullshit stops. I, I was raised that way. And I am that way. And it, I, I would be a lie to sit here and tell you that there is no bullshit in my house. But brother, when I tell you it is tiny, creepy, scared, and minuscule, because we don't have the bullshit in here. So I'm going to bring that to the hip hop zone every time I come with all the love I can muster. That's what's good, brother. You know what I'm saying? We have, um, you know, we we have uh, uh, somebody in here right now, you know, we we gonna we gonna talk we we gonna talk to her definitely because we want her to uh, to speak on some of the things that we're that we're gonna be speaking on today. Uh, Dr. Lisa Williams, she's gonna be a featured guest soon. Yes, so hey, doctor. it's good to have her on here because she's gonna try to jump us later. She, that's all right. Mm -hmm. She's fine too. <laughs> you know what? Something about the name Lisa. I don't know one ugly Lisa. All right. I don't know no ugly Lisas. Now I know some scandalous Lisas. Nope. Now, now, some scandalous now, 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 Jeff, that's a lie because we all seen Dolphin Felicia. <laughs> oh, no, that's Felicia, bro. That's Felicia. Felicia. Not Lisa. Uh, I said Lisa. Name an ugly Lisa. I can't even name it Lisa Bonet. I can't name it. Ain't no ugly Lisa. And Dr. Lisa is, is not hard to look at either. I just figured I would throw that out. Well, thanks. You're very welcome, sister. Now, that's I apologize good. for the blood that's going to hit the floor later. <laughs> Don't worry. What you spill, be ready to sop up. I'm going to go over. Oh. No problem. I bought a bucket and a mop. That's where we at. See? For you. That's where we at. You know what I'm saying? Now, you mentioned your many fuck ups in the yeah. past. Oh, God. And, you know, what we've heard, you know, what we've discussed on several occasions, shout out to the Oracle. She had brought it out that, you know, a relationship is something that you are supposed to take, look at, and learn from in order, you know, in order to better yourself. You right. know what I mean? Now, you mentioned fuck ups. Yeah. So all of those fuck ups, I'm assuming you learned something from and got yeah. to a better place. Yes, yes. And and the truth is, um, still learning from when I'm honest, some of them, I will have revelations sometime that bring me to tears. Um, mm -hmm. And the, the struggle becomes to be able to only take what is useful from it. But that's, we can get into that shit later. That was awesome. beautiful though. That was beautiful. We, yeah, I'll, I'll get deeper into that. My thing is, That's how come a lot of, you know, from what I see is a lot of women go into the next relationship like you, that dude, that fucked me over. You know what I'm saying? And it's like they don't get that fresh start. And, OK, I'm going to learn from what I did in the previous relationship, because remember, this is No Man Monday. So we talking about women. Oh, sure. <laughs> you sure. know what I mean? And, and black I women specifically. Yes. yes. So, and you know, I, I, I tend to see that a lot, you know what I'm saying? And I mm -hmm. think in relationships, you know, I, I don't see women that, that are very ready to admit or acknowledge <clears throat> their fuck ups. Uh, well, brother, here's the good news. Here's the good news. When you count the gay ones, <laughs> when you count the unmotivated ones, when you count the violent ones, when you count the shiftless ones, when you count the untrustworthy ones, when you count the unreliable ones, when you count the unattractive ones, <laughs> there are still two million more. Oh, when you count the incarcerated ones, there are still two million more of them than there is us. Have you ever heard about the great American black woman shortage? Me mm. neither. So, by default, if you are dealing with an individual who is damaging your soul, mm. and you a man, 
You're not bad at relationships. You're bad at math. <laughs> it's just, I have a one argument louder than the radio policy when we first start to date. Say it again. The first argument louder than the radio, meaning we cannot compose ourselves in the public of this car. Is that serious? I do, me, the gentleman, the protector, girl, I ain't gonna ask you out if I ain't got it. And I can take you out with 10 bucks and we'll have a ball. The protector, the provider, the general, the clean, my car clean as hell. Our first date always be right after I came from the dentist getting my shit clean. <laughs> I time that shit. I'm, I was raised by players. I was, that's, I'm gonna be that dude. And if in those situations we cannot find ourselves civil, louder than the radio mama, Maybe there's 15 of me looking around for you. I'll let you go with 14 of them. I'm done. That's just, that's, that's the first, that's the easy part. The difficult part becomes, is she big, is she big enough? Is she open enough to learn from what she's going through? Do you see her learning for, is she stumbling forward? And is her stumble forward enough to match your stumble forward, nigga? Because you ain't perfect by a long fucking shot. Hey, let's keep it off of us. This is no man. Don't okay. take shots, bro. No, I'm okay. No. Oh, no, bro. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with bruh, you. I'm, I call it as I see it. Because <laughs> what happens is if I call it first, what I'm really doing is this pimp shit where I take the bullets out your gun first. So men do it too has already been covered for the whole show. Okay. Okay. That that door's gone. Cause I've said it here. Men do it too. Men do it too. Men do it too. Please don't repeat me. <laughs> this is that's why I brought it up, really. This is just that that's that uppercut off the clinch. Rap. Uh it is, it's, it's not that they're closed off. Some of them are, a lot of them are. A lot of them, you gonna be that dude. You six minutes late, I knew you was fucking my sister. You gonna be that dude. And there's no way around that. The problem is for her to deal with that somehow as the clock ticks. There's a song they play every summer that works against delusional aging women goes like this fresh batch hopes intact firm fully packed here they come fresh batch fresh batch <laughs> we don't you have a time limit on getting your shit together you just do that's what i say to dudes that's a yes, and I'll be done with this part. I tell my sons this. It's almost time for my 14-year-old to hear this. Stay away from dudes that say they going to get some pussy. Uh-uh, that's not what you do. Your last name is Brown. You don't go get pussy. You give out dick. Because every time you do that, you risk splicing genes and fucking up our line. Mm. So you giving out dick. Don't waste your time or hers. Make it worthy and make sure that she is worthy. Don't play with your toys more than you do your work. Wow. That's a deep point. You know what I'm saying? That's understanding your worth. It sounds Some like. Some niggas got too many female toys, so it they don't get like, no work done. It sounds like you're talking about understanding your worth. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, bruh. And that the clock is ticking on your black ass too, nigga. Do you know how much I would have gotten done if I could go back 
and unfuck half of them girls that I just was, because you are the finest one here, in my opinion. <laughs> this is going to happen tonight. I'm going to test my pimp game. Or I'll go, you know what? Not that. You, the one that's in that pack of girls that's setting the fucking screen trying to stop me not understanding that I was raised on the south side of Chicago. Yeah, your fine ass. If I'd have done half of that, bruh, the movies I could have written, the relationships I may not have damaged. The ego I may not have fed. Had I not done less playing and more work. What if I turned that masculine energy into some positive shit and made the next sister earn the baloney pony ride? <clears throat> Instead of giving it out to she in the tightest dress. A lot of times she in the tightest dress winds up carrying your seed to spite you, idiot. Get your shit straight, black man. Yes, this is No Man Monday, but bruh, I shoot all in the room. I hear you. Because these are the fuck ups I made. I ain't never been a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never been one. I done fucked some over. I done been fucked over by some. I have loved some. And that's so a real I got point. some shit. So yeah, and I'm getting higher and higher. I'm almost there. <laughs> nah, but you know what I mean? It's like, yo, with all of that being said, you know, a lot of dudes from what I hear, you know, I, I hear a lot, you know, I hear cats talk and it's like, it, it seems from what you hear a lot is dudes feel like they've been taken for granted by a woman and you made a point to say like yo there's no such thing as the great american black woman shortage you know what i'm saying right. so what is it that men are doing you know what i mean even though i said we ain't talking about us but no we, we gonna put it out there first you know what is it that we're doing you know what i mean mm -hmm. that may cause that as far as us to be um what you might call it take it for granted or, okay yeah i'm gonna tell you okay i'm gonna take you on the ride it's gonna be worth the trip Let's go. Uh, a relationship is like a plant that the both of you water. It is something that lives outside of you. And generally, unless your mama intuition is, is fucked up or God bless, fuck, big mama is gone, ain't she? God, big mama's intuition is fucked up or your auntie's intuition or some woman you trust to see this woman, to read her energy and understand her unless their intuition is fucked up and what little intuition you may have, uh, cause you're a dude, you have far less of it than women. Uh, let's just say she snuck through all of that and is this horrible person you will see it because her side of the relationship will wither because she ain't feeding it with what it needs to be well that's the same thing that happens from your side if you are not feeding this relationship for, for so where she can eat from this relationship your side is withering you're not calling like you used to you don't just fucking go, you know what? I'm going to pepper my calendar with some dates. And on them dates, for no reason, I'm going to send her some flowers. Girls dig that shit. Who the fuck knows why? Who cares? <laughs> you don't care why. My wife digs it. So out of nowhere, she gets roses about seven times a year. I just pepper my calendar and I send them. I feed the relationship. So if she turned, I'm not talking about a broad that was raggedy from the get-go, but her thing was so good that you just said, not her. I'm talking about a girl. It started out great. Let's I'm not specify. talking about toys. I'm not talking about toys. I'm talking about work. Mm. That one you can see picking your kids up in the van. That one that's going to... Uh, open her third eye and show you everything her 
If it started getting funky with her, check yourself. When the last time we've been out, girls dig that shit. Dudes, it's probably four meals. You can, it's four meals. You take a dude's favorite four meals. That nigga eat that shit till he die. <laughs> Rotate it sometime. Nigga, it's spaghetti week. Now, that's just how we are. Y'all need the variety. We need to remember that. If you have a problem with scratching and posts and fur balls and meowing, you don't have a problem with your cat. You have a problem with cats. If you have a problem with indecision, uh, mild in accountability, we can talk about that later. Yes, uh, please. Yeah, yeah, mild in accountability and the difference between that and the bullshit that most niggas face. <laughs> uh, emotionalness, a need to make a nest. If you have a problem with that, you don't have a problem with your woman. You got a problem with women. And you need to be fucking dudes if you have a problem with that. Because that's who women are. They're going to nurture some shit. They're going to come in and go, oh, no, this won't do. They're going to do that. If your girl is around you, she's going to try to fuck with your house. Let her. Let her. Let her do that. Experiment. Watch her. Is she a nurturer? What are your kids going to be nurtured by while you getting it? You want to watch that shit. Let her do her thing. But if her thing is fucking constant war... Really, bro? There is really? another one. There's not another. There's not another one. Is there another type? Is, is uh, oh, bro, <laughs> nigga, I refuse to believe. I re that's the other thing. I didn't. I I fell into um, my mother-in-law, my sister-in-law, and my wife are three of the classiest, down-to-earth, for real, for real black women I have ever met in my existence, bro. I can't say, I, bruh, I'm not bullshitting. Three Claire Huxtables, nigga. Maya Angelou, Claire Huxtable, and fucking Debbie Allen. That's, I'm serious. They are really, they on that shit. And they got friends that's on that shit. Right. Now, this is not to say that a lot of my wife's friends outer, are in outer fucking space, but the, uh, I can't throw all sisters away because it ain't true. It's not true. The problem is the same sisters that I'm talking about are the ones who circle the wagons around the horribles. Mm. They're circling the wagons. Oh, wait a minute. You are defending the bitch we're talking about. That bitch will fuck your man. That's who we're talking about. It's not <laughs> us. It's us reporting to you about y'all. Y'all the ones that need to be burning these bitches at the stake. Not us. I would definitely like to hear what anybody got to say about that. You know what I'm saying? Please feel free to chime in at any point because that's a good point. I feel in a lot of situations. Oh, Jay, you can't be heard right now. I don't know what happened. What but up, Jay the Pro? Jay the Pro. You got to get your mic, man. <laughs> man, it's <laughs> unmuted. Oh, so there, there you go. go. There you are now. We hear you. There you go. Some can y'all hear me now? Yes, yeah, sir. Hey, but uh, Dr. Lisa's ready. I'm trying to hear it. She's ready. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, Dr. Lisa, please. I did come off a of mute. Look um, at the hold on, hold on. The nostrils is flaring. There it go. It's starting. No, 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 no. I love a sister with a big so, nose. I love a sister with about, a big nose. Listen, when we talk about women in general, I'm going to be totally upfront and honest all the time. Most people look at women and, and look at every woman and say, this is supposed to be a good woman. But just like not every man is a, we're going to say good person, not every woman is a good person. People respond according to their experience and experiences. 
So depending upon what happened to them, how they were treated, is how they learn to react. It's called protection mode, right? That's what they do. Now, a real woman and a real friend is not going to allow the individuals or the other women who would fuck your man or do all of those other things. They're not going to allow them around them. But if they are a real woman, they are first going to try to teach that woman how to put her crown on, put it on straight and how to keep it on. But it's not our responsibility to make that woman keep it on because we can't. Everybody has their own choices and they wake up every day deciding to allow their higher self or lower self to win, men or women. And depending on what you choose that day is the response that you get from women that day. And so I'm going to take a quick step back when Jeff talked about, um, what did he say? Peppering your calendar, right? If you're going to pepper your calendar and, and you're doing this because this is a woman that you want to be with, not just someone that you're trying to keep under your spell, right? Make sure you pepper in your calendar with her love language, not yours. You have to be able to combine the two. If you're going to be in a relationship, you need to understand her love language and you need to be able to understand yours. Not every woman likes or enjoys flowers. It may be a walk in the park that she wants. It may just be your time. You have to understand her needs just as much as she needs to understand yours. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. So you can't lump all women and you, you can't just like we can't lump all men into was that to the same me? bucket. We can't lump all women into the same bucket either. I heard a question there. Was that to me? Anybody. Was it open? Everybody. Oh, OK, well, yeah, allow everybody. me to retort uh, with regard to flowers. That was my example. My wife happens to it. love roses. Yes. OK, well, as you got it, I don't understand why you brought it up. Which because brings me, uh, clarifying uh, the point. I think it's my turn. I don't think I would. Did I interrupt Go you? Ahead, at all? Yeah. all right. Thank you. Yeah. I'll try to be brief. Um, what I think it is, is regardless, and I see doctor by your name, regardless to, and as a matter of fact, fortify, fortified by. Hold on, I got a gun in mine. You ain't bring that up. Jay, I always do, but it's just DA because I cut <laughs> Jay the pro. All right. Almost like Jada Kiss, but not quite. Jada right. Pro. I, I got to put the because doctors on here. Thank you so much for bringing my point. No, you to don't. Fucking halt, Jay. Uh, as I see, doctor by your name, I say this in love that the intelligence of the black woman actually amplifies. What I believe is a genetic predisposition to finding a way to disagree <laughs> with a black man. In the words of the late, great James Hanna, how do you get a black woman to jump out of an airplane? Have a black man tell her not to. <laughs> you agree with me. So why then jump what is obviously my wife's love language please understand that being with her not 11 years and us being married nine blissfully i think i know a itty bitty bit about my wife are you done no go ahead uh real people please those of you under the sound of my voice do what you will, but think about this. There is no such thing as a real man or a real woman. And here's Amen. why. Man, here's the requirement. Cheat death to the age of 18, because at that time you can go to war and die for the soil that you are on. Same with women. You are all real men and women. What kind of man are you? Are you a responsible man? Are you a respectful man? Can motherfuckers count on you? What kind of man are you? Don't ever let a woman ever tell you you ain't no real man. Yeah, you a real man, nigga. You in the race. You just last. Get your shit together. We need you. Same with women. You are real. And what we must first do is unball our fists with one another and understand that the way we think, the way we react, the way we interact with one another was thrust 
upon us by someone else. And unless and until we can look him and his God in the face, we gonna have this problem. He got real deep on you then. Got got real deep. Oh my God, I no man. Hold on, I got a question, Go right? So, so with the brothers is out here searching, right? And the women understanding, understanding the odds. How do you get past the facade? Because they put up a facade. I heard eight months. That's too for some brothers. That's that's a that's an eternity. Some brothers don't have eight months. We you do that with the calendar, bro. You do that we, with the calendar, but we can we can we can handle that later. I know the sister got something that's on her mind. Uh, Are you gentlemen finished? Yeah, I, I am. I, yes, I was. I was giving you back. I was before. asking a question. I was asking well, a question. Before we go into something else, let me address. Yes. Jeff. Yeah, oh, bro. That's okay. what I'm saying. You yes, specifically, please. Specifically, you specifically spoke of your wife, but in the conversation, sure. you didn't say my wife's love language. I didn't so have to. It was. Listen. It was merely a clarification. So for those who are listening, you have to understand that people will take what you say and take it for face value instead of thinking outside the box and thinking for themselves. So it was a clarification that as you are talking about sprinkling your calendar, you know your wife's love language just as anybody oh, else should okay. know theirs. Yes, I got so you. So understand. It, just felt, it just, just, just felt like I was getting cussed out out of the picnic. No, no, it's no. just something about the I'm way y'all speak to men. I, I'm not one of those individuals. I don't have to curse. I can't like, tell you what it is. I just tell you what it looked like and what it felt like. And you did oh. not come at me with love. It felt like I, I was being chastised and love. other people. Who didn't wear. Well, that's that's what it felt shit. like. I that's can't tell you man. what it is. God, that way, because you are here on the defensive and it's OK. But when you're talking about people and you're talking about relationships, it is important to understand the love language of the individual that you are with. Jeff clearly understands he is. We are talking about the other individuals who don't. So your flowers may be something for someone else. Dudes, That's learn your women. Clear. Learn your women. My bad. My bad. Fuck me. Learn your own woman. That's so important. That was brought up. Thank you, doctor. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> I'm so glad you're a smart ass. <laughs> yeah. I don't speak. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Hey, that and that's good. why we got Jeff on because Jeff is right. that dude. He gonna I cut it. it. I right. cut the meat to the bone. It might be. Hey, I might be wrong. Hey, but sometimes I'm right, even when I'm wrong. And could, could, we, wrong. could we take a vote? <laughs> could we take a vote just of the men in the room? Yes. Maybe I'm wrong. And that's another thing about me, sis. I will always apologize if I'm wrong. I'll apologize, as a matter of fact, for cross-talking you. That was a little disrespectful because I got a pen and piece of paper right here. And that's what this weed's supposed to be for. <laughs> I, I don't have any problems apologizing. But I'm telling you that's good. that this is about how we communicate with one another, black man to black woman, and maybe I'm wrong. Let's take a poll. Brothers in here, if you felt as if the sister's retort to my thing about flowers, although we agree, felt as if we somehow dif disagreed or if I was being admonished, please raise your hand. I can say I see it. Fuck me. I was wrong. I don't have a problem with that. If they didn't see it, maybe I'm sensitive to that. But I've heard it and I've seen it with so many sisters that speak with brothers in ways they don't speak at work. But now let me say this. Let me say this because that's a good point because a point that you brought up just now was communication. You know what I'm saying? Let's see who's going to, you know what I mean, listen. When you're speaking, I can say I see you know, it. go ahead. Who, who has something to say? Somebody was about to say something. Somebody jumped in. Who was that? Was that Cash? All right. So, yo. I would like to say the brother said his wife clearly. He said his wife when he was building. I was listening to it on the radio. He said his wife clearly. Clearly said his wife when he was building. I was listening to him. Clearly said his wife. Clearly said his wife. 
So he was mentioning what he does in his calendar for his wife. He said his wife. He now, Brother it. Thomas, did that confuse you with your girl to maybe your girl like bowling? Hell, I don't know. To, to maybe sprinkle your calendar with bowling? Were you not on that road already? I mean, I don't know what your girl do, but whatever it is, were you not, what, was, were you confused? Were you chained to roses? Did you have some idea in your mind that because I said roses, damn what your wife like or your girl like, that you'd have to give roses, was that? Or did you take it that literally? Thanos, bravo. That's actually, no, no I, was saying, I was saying what the brother had said was when he was talking about his calendar, I was saying when him and the doc was talking, the doc was saying on the general, make sure you specify. And I was saying, I was listening, and I was like, the brother did say his wife. He yeah. generally for everybody. He, he said so, his wife. He we'll take that about, as a yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, he spoke about his wife and how he does for his wife. He yeah. just made general. He was making a general statement. Men should get to know your woman. See, he we're said, down the road. Wife, he can knows get, what to do. <laughs> can, do. Okay, this goes to another analogy, and I just want to hear from other people. I'm tired of hearing me. Uh, uh, men, this is, see how we got off this fucking dirt road? Men <laughs> argue on a drag strip. That's what I'm trying to get to. The one at the end of the track with the most facts wins. Women tend to argue on an oval dirt track and the one that runs out of gas first loses. This is, I don't know why we're over here, okay? If you love your woman, arbitrarily do nice shit for her that she don't know is coming because they like that shit. That's that there was the point I was making. Was Jesus. As the clarification was yes. made for and you, that's how you get out on the oval dirt track. That Jeff's meaning behind sprinkling your calendar with roses or flowers. Yes, yeah, Doc. He said his wife. He didn't say general, Doc. He said his wife. Your individuals he said love life. He said it his is, wife. Her, it is right, right. But she, she said is said hearing life. what you All want right, to hear. One at a time. One at a time. Hear Go what ahead, they want to hear on their level of attitude and that's how they respond. And it's okay. We can agree to disagree. But that's not your responding. That's, I'm sorry. No, say she that said, that's not what she said though. She said, she was saying, 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 she was saying to follow up with what he said about the roses to anybody that didn't understand. That, that doesn't have to be the only way you do it. Right, but she also said to him, know the love language. He was speaking about- No, no, she wasn't I saying didn't say for him to know him. his wife's love. Nah, you she turned, you, said you, for no, she to didn't know the language. She misunderstood she it, bro. She, she, was saying it, she was saying it for the audience. She wasn't saying it I understand, it but when, exactly. when he asked the question, he was saying he had spoken about his wife, and I would just you know we're 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 focusing too much on one point. Yeah, I yeah. feel everybody. I feel what everybody's yeah. saying. You know, because yeah. you know, I, like I said, I could I could understand it comes what like Jeff said. You know, I know what Jeff said, and I I understand what the doctor was saying too, and I can okay. see how Jeff took it. You know what I'm saying? But Jeff, but I, I don't necessarily he spoke agree. On his wife. Hold up, I don't, I don't necessarily wife. agree. I don't necessarily agree with whatever. You got that. But you know, I would like to move on to some other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because one of the big points that this is actually making, you know, is developing a level of communication with the person you with. Because a lot of people hear one thing when something else was said. You know what I'm saying? And that is a huge like that's a huge part of what happens with relationships like yo mm -hmm. you say something and because of whatever the environment is whatever the conversation is you know context is a whole lot of different factors but that shit takes on the exact opposite of what your intent was so mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying i would love to hear jeff speak on that i would love to hear dr dr williams speak on that you know what i'm saying go ahead jeff I'm gonna, uh, if I may, I'm going to use my own life for that. Please do. A few minutes ago, uh, we, there's something going on uh, with some real estate shit that my wife is dealing with. And it's pretty fucked up. She needs to fix it. 
She was getting loud. Me, I earned most of my money right from the seat up here. I could easily have gotten up and went from worst to best. <clears throat> wow. How long I've been doing this? Damn. Really? Mm. Or, babe, it's three o'clock. Oh, it's, babe, it's four o'clock. I got a relationship to water. And it's minor. Babe, who getting it? Who is getting it? I hear it from up here. She looked at her watch and apologized. And I closed the door. She will more than likely apologize for that later. When she tries, I will have a cup of her favorite tea in my hand. What apology? Drink this. I'm going to smoke some weed. Let's catch up on The Handmaid's Tale. <laughs> because I'm watering in this relationship. That's a prime opportunity to smack the one that I love verbally in the mouth. When we supposed to be fighting y'all. It's us against the world. Stop finding opportunities to fuck over your mate. To get that bullshit angst out. Deal with that another way. Because it hurts the relationship, not her. The both of you will look up one day and not mad. But you don't love each other no more. That's because you didn't feed your relationship. Okay. It's about how you talk to each other. And black people got to learn how to talk. Don't talk to your woman that way. Don't talk to your man that way. Why I got to stink? Why any, and you know exactly what I'm talking about. Why does it have to stink? Why as soon as you get mad, oh, oh yeah, black women are alchemists, bro. Black women don't, they are sorcerers with their words. Words create spells and nobody can create a spell. Like the black woman, she is connected to the earth like no other. That's why you feel like shit when she cuss your ass out. The, bruh, why, they'll do this. Hey. They'll make shit that's yeah. important in your life shrink. Oh, so you got your new little car. You finna go out to your little friends with your little friends to your little club. <laughs> All your shit that shrunk. And in your mind, you on a defensive issue. I got this nigga now. Look how he look. Bruh, dudes don't. I got something to say. If you don't like it, we outside. That's a dude. A woman? Mm -mm, nigga, she finna crawl in your ear and in your brain and go to fucking work. You, that's why you don't argue with them. You leave that to them. You say what you got to say and you be done with it. And if you have to do too much of that, hey, I'll call you in the office, bring your playbook. Mm. That's it. Hey, what he said, and what not working out. Said, 58. What you just said, brother, was, was some real shit. Because there's a lot of times, and I know a lot of brothers on here have experienced that where you hear words. I like, was raised by Your little joint, your little this, your little that. You're like, it, it's true. You know what I'm saying? You, you hear that. You know what I mean? Now, as far as from what I said about communication, you know, Dr. Williams. I would like to give you that time to say something now. Communication is important, just like Jeff said, but we have to make sure that when we're listening to our spouse, we're listening to hear them and not listening to respond because you already have your answer in your head. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um on either side, if you're going to be nasty, if you can't communicate at that moment, you have to have a, an understanding between each other that since I can't communicate and talk to you right now, we're going to do this later. Now, do most people or most couples do that? No, they don't. They talk at each other instead of talking to each other. But when you really want to hear what your spouse has to say, if you want to fix it, you're going to shut your yap. 
and you're going to listen and you're going to digest it before you answer. That's male or female. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Real quick. I'm sorry to cut you, but real quick, we have to we have to say this. What is what is one of our laws, Jada Pro? She just said it. I know what it is. Oh, you know what it is? <laughs> Shut the F up. Just like y'all want to say that to us, <laughs> believe you me, there are a lot of times when we want to say it to you back. Hey, we got it from both sides, though. It I love it. it. It goes both it's ways, right? It goes, it's not if one side. A man, it does go both If ways. a man ever has to look a woman who he met, discovered, enjoyed socially, mentally, physically, and sexually, and spiritually, in the face one day and say shut the fuck up that nigga has failed you should never have to say that to your woman if you got that far check yourself nigga either you should have done something or this broad should have been fired period mm. how did you get so far out of pocket with your woman that the word shut the fuck up even come to mind you either with the wrong broad or you the wrong dude, period. I never in 11 years have thought, shut the fuck up about my wife because this time I chose properly and they out there. Choose wisely. Have you Play ever with had less to? toys, do your work. Have you ever had to? Have I ever had to? Hell, bruh. My, bruh, my wife, I, say, I try to tell you. Had, no, 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 not with your wife now. I'm saying before. Bruh. Look here. Uh, I told my ex-wife the way that you speak. I said, let me explain something to you. I'm a United States Marine. I have a black belt in the martial art. It's from that 70s karate shit, but I still got it. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm an expert with weapons, hand weapons. I can kill a couple of dudes with an ink pen. I swear to God, I'm not fucking around. It's not that hard, actually. We can cover that. Here it's, I made this agreement with you. You said no guns. I said, fine. We don't have no guns in the house, but we got this baby. So here's my plan. If somebody break in here, because we don't have no dog right now, I'm going to grab the iron by the cord and wrap it up like this. And I'm going to attack that person and beat them with this iron in the face until I no longer recognize their face or the iron. And then I'm going to do my best to throw them through this plate glass window, drag them over to our pool and hold them under until I see no bubbles because they invaded my home with my wife and my child and I don't give a fuck how this turned out. Okay, this when you talk to me, the way you talk to me, no one can't none of the niggas in your family handle me or none of the niggas I run with. Do you know what you make me feel like doing? You make me feel like taking this iron, mm. wrapping it by the cord and beating you in your face until I do not recognize your face or this iron and throw in your ass through a plate glass window, which I can do. Dragging you over to our pool and hold, I'm going somewhere. Dragging you over to our pool and holding your head under till I don't see no bubbles. That is the power that you deal with and you play with and you flirt with with your mouth and it is power that could move mountains for you but you choose you choose the woman the one woman on the earth that can touch my soul in a way no other you 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 use that power to take me to that place brother it ain't on you it's on me because i allowed you into my space close enough for me to feel shut the fuck up what the fuck is wrong with me it's too many of you and that is what's up find you who, who is eligible to be a queen because they out there bruh 
It's some sisters that ain't on that shit. It's some sisters you ain't going to never have to hear this question. You know what your problem is? They out there, bruh. It's some sisters that never, they neck ain't going to never come attached. They ain't going to never reach for the air when they talk to you. They are out there. Leave these other women to unfuck themselves out of existence. <laughs> Period. Well, that was a violent point, but it was a point nonetheless. And I appreciate it because it, it, it made sense. Bruh, because, how many like, brothers in jail because they got that power? Yep. Chief, how many how many times, bruh? How many times? I would like to hear from the chief. He's usually very talkative. What's going on? Can y'all hear me? Yes. Yeah. Sir. Oh shit! How many times is uncountable? It's a lot. Shit, we already know that. That's that's a that's a question that don't need to be answered. It's you know, it's just that you know, some some brothers on both sides, whether it's white or black, they just get to the point to where the red button is pushed and they can't and they go to the point of no return. You know, that's some that's some fucked up shit. But that's just life. It's the way it is. Everybody has a, a point to where they just you know get uh get to that emotional state to where they do some shit that they regret later you know it happens you know i was just uh happy to hear that you know you know when you know we cleared that that part up about you know you talking about giving uh giving uh flowers to your wife you know obviously he wasn't talking about everybody that's what he does with his wife you know but his it was a it was a it was an analogy you gotta everybody gotta take it for what it is you gotta find out and i'm still and i'm i'm guilty for it i don't know everything that the first lady uh should get and should get sprinkled and that's something that i have to work on hmm. you know i've been so busy hmm. trying to help help raise a family Come of on, four man. beautiful four beautiful black women no, I man, I got all girls. I ain't had no boys. Only <laughs> boys I have is on the football field. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I uh, you know, with 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 life and with the maturation process, we grow and we learn. You know what I'm saying? And sure. I'm still learning. You don't never stop learning until you die. Can I make and, a I, suggestion? and I'm learning. Now give me one second to finish. And yes, I'm sir, learning I'm that. Yeah. And I'm learning that I need to be more proactive in knowing what the first lady wants. And knowing what the first lady needs, not only uh, what she wants and needs, but when she wants it and when she needs it. You understand what I'm saying? And we are all guilty of that at some point. And it's on both sides of the spectrum because it's some shit that I need and it's some shit that I want. But like Dr. Lisa was saying, communication is a key. I had a hard time with communication in my relationships. I'm on my second and last marriage. You understand what I'm saying? I ain't getting married no more. I'm 52 motherfucking years old. I ain't doing this shit no more. I'd be a dirty ass, nasty ass old man if something happens to the first lady or she just fucking leave me. I will. I'm just keeping it real. I don't know no other way to give it to your ass. You feel me? Just as sure as I was just busting my ass earlier trying to save somebody's life, I'm going to give it to you how I fucking feel. My man. But I, you know, I got a, I got a, a lot of learning to do when it, and pertaining to my wife, the first lady that's on here. Now she ain't gonna, she might not unmute that mic and she might not step up in the conversation, but she listening and I know she listening. And it's always, 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 and I'll say it one more motherfucking time, always something that we all can do to better our own relationships. Come on. One thing that I found myself doing is looking in the mirror. It's a lot of shit that I do wrong. I gotta correct myself before I can try to correct her and what I need her to do for me. And if I can't correct myself first, then fuck trying to tell her something because I'm still wrong. I'm gonna mute my motherfucking mic. Brother, brother, brother. I, I, and just, just two, just real, real quick. Uh, Go ahead, Jeff. So I'm, I'm share something that uh, I do uh, periodically. I, just, I don't have to do it no more. Uh, with, with regard to knowing your lady, and you can do this both ways. Give me something to know, baby. Let's take two things I'm not doing. Give me something to know that I'm not doing. And give me something to guess 
that I'm not doing. And let me know when I do the thing you told me that we talking about. And as I do things toward the thing that I'm guessing, let me know if I'm warm or hot. That just, I, I, as a, as a, when I was a boyfriend, I used to do yeah. that with her. So that's, that's free to good home, bro. And yeah. man, I'm salute, a, man, salute yeah. to you. All right. And I ain't going to, cause I'll never leave nobody hanging. Yeah. And I'm a, I'm going to take that in consideration, but I'm going to take the guessing out of it. Fuck the guessing. I'm 52 years old, man. No, I got more bro, time no, behind No, 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 no. Bro, you see, now you're saying. talking man to man. Now you, uh-uh. I, I, bro, I hate to, I I hate to, to know, interrupt though. you. Fuck yeah. You, brother, you talking to a dude. That makes sense to a dude. Girls yeah. like that gas shit. Bro, I'm telling you, they love you. Just try it. Just try it. Bro, just try it. Try it. <laughs> all right, all right. And all tell right. her to leave you some you. clues, nigga. I'm too, bruh. Drop I, some I, I was raised by pimps. I'm telling you that ladies, when you find out their love language, brother, you can tell them anything. That's that's the problem with the anti you, the dude that gets all the press. Tink tink, day day nymph. Horrible niggas. Yeah. Horrible <laughs> yeah. niggas are usually usually walk, brought up now around a lot of women and they have learned the women's love language so tough mm. that they know the dialects and they know with a woman's intuition either turned off or down or society's white noise turned up that they can get past it that's them dudes because it's a dude with no fucking job that would never be a fire chief that's doing exactly what i'm telling you to do to some chick who's letting him drive around in her car with other girls because oh, right. hey, that's the thing that's the thing oh, you know what I'm it keeps on being brought up like you know we're not talking about those dudes you know we're not talking about those dudes and we're not talking about the crazy crazy women that will cut you and you know what i'm saying you know we're talking about <laughs> we're we're talking about those women you know and, and and it's like simple things we're talking about having a conversation and not giving the person you're with the respect enough to at least hear their point you know we're talking about the simple things that come up in relationships where you know, we've all dealt with this on either side, but <clears throat> again, this is No Man Monday, so we talking about women. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, we all do a lot. We understand that. My thing is, with communication, you know, it's a two-way street. There's a lot of situations where men are like, okay, yes, we are listening to you. I really feel in a lot of situations women don't really like to listen and understand what a man is going through. They want to speak about themselves, what they're going through themselves and what they're going through and themselves and what they're going through <laughs> and that bitch, let's throw that bitch in and then, they, okay. and then, then work. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it, it's in that order. And okay. it's like, yo, you know, can I, can I say something? You know, can, can, hey, you know, uh, you know, I, I got some, I, I do stuff too. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I'm here. Acknowledge me. You know what I'm saying? And it's like little things, but they develop into big issues. So this is kind of where, you know, you know, what we're talking about and some of the issues that I think everyone goes through, no matter how successful their, you know, their relationship is, you know what I'm saying? You have that time where you don't feel like this person is listening. You know what I'm saying? Now uh, there's ways you can handle that, but there's also ways that you know. Listen, when I start about when I start coaching and there you go. Get into coaching, and I wanted to be a great coach, I start paying attention to something other than my woman that I was good at, and she could see she ain't have no qualms about it because you see I'm on the computer, I'm studying, I'm writing plays. I actually coach kids. You got to go to the game. She supported me in it. But she seen that I wanted to be good at something, and it had my interest. So she like, well, shoot, well, let me see what's got his interest. 
Just like if you was cheating, she gonna go see what's got your attention, nigga. <laughs> so she, being that it's a good thing, being that it's a good thing, it's something positive. I'm coaching, I'm building these kids up, I'm helping these kids, you know, reach higher heights in their life. And it, it got my interest. So she wanted to know what I was talking about. She may have not got deep into it, but when I talked to her about coaching and, you know, things that's going on, she wanted to know the terminology, what I'm talking about, so we can have a conversation or she can understand what I'm talking about. All, and it was only because it was something that had my in my my it had my attention. It had all my being. I was putting myself into it, and it was something positive. She can see that it wasn't nothing negative. So when she's checking on it, I'm right here. I'm doing the same thing I was doing two hours ago. You know what I mean? So it, it brought her attention along with it, and she wanted to know what's going on with you. So how the coaching thing going, baby? I start getting stuff like that. So so how the kids doing? So how was you know so and so doing? She started learning the players' names and. Start learning, you know what I mean? It's just, no hey, put your attention in something. Be great at something. And your, your woman going to want to see what, what's got his attention. Mm. <laughs> and see, that's a big point. <clears throat> you know what I mean? I was told that, you know what I'm saying? Shout out by the Oracle. You know what I'm saying? She actually said, hey, put your attention into what you need to put your focus into. Do that. And anything else comes in line, basically. You know what I mean? And that's what it is. But you know, we want to discuss that. Like, yo, that's, to me, that's how you, you know, first, well, before I say anything, I would like to hear if anybody else, especially the Oracle, since that was her point, you know, hear what she has to say about that. Um, what Kevin's saying is absolutely true. Um, I'm sorry, k Mez. What k Mez was saying is actually absolutely true. You want to spend 90% of your time working on your craft, your passion, and then all of those other things are going to come into place simply because it is self-development. You know, I tell you guys here on the panel, you cannot control what the other party is doing. And since you can't control them, work on you, right? When we talked about the sand grains on the speaker with the high frequency creating that complicated geometric design, they're either going to fall into place to create that high frequency geometrical design and sand grains is gonna fall off, all right? So the other party's either gonna aspire to you getting better or they are gonna fall out your life. So mm. I just keep saying, as far as relationship goes, you gotta start with you first and then it's either gonna fall into place or you just have to kind of upgrade and move on to that being that is vibrating consciously at the level that you're at or higher, not lower. I definitely agree. If that woman is with you, when you are focusing your attention on you, she will realize that and she's going to start focusing her attention more on you. Not that she wasn't necessarily before, but she's going to show you that, hey, I'm with you. You're interested in this. So I love you enough that I want to know some of it. I don't have to know everything, but I want to know enough so I can be supportive of you just as she's going to expect you to be able to do the same for her. It, again, it goes back to communication. It goes back to you both being willing to grow with one another. You have to grow through what you're going to go through. And if you're not willing to do that, then you need to look at the relationship itself and say, okay, is this where I really need to be? Because you want somebody to be your backbone just like you want to be their backbone. You got to hold each other up. It's not a one-way street. I got deep. That got deep. We got my man. We got a couple of people on. I would love to hear what anybody got to say. Shout out Amanda Hayes. Oh, she just. Oh, there she go. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Lucky Goggins. The oh, Chief spoke. First Lady Furious. Brian Flowers. Jay got his mic off mute. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm listen. I'm I'm over here bobbing like it's music playing. This was my question, right? I, oh. I love the I love it. I love the you know, I love the beautiful, you know. I love all that. But uh let's get to some questions. I got a question, right? From both of y'all. Uh y'all been in a lot of relationships, stuff like that. So, like I asked earlier, if you're in a friend state, right? You're going through that friend state. There's, there's facades put up, right? The facades are put up, the walls are put up. You don't really know who you're dealing with. And you find out, like, 
down the road? You know, how do you, what are some ways we can skip those, those, uh, what are some telltale signs? Or, or like you said, do you continue to work on yourself? But I mean, what are some of those telltale signs? That somebody's, that somebody's like putting a Dealing facade. with that fake shit. Yeah. Anybody? Anybody? Uh, I mean, I got one in the gun. Go ahead, bro. Bust okay. It. Let it go. Um, hold on, hold on, what? hold on, man. We want to hear from the, you know. The okay. Well, the floor is quiet. That's why I'm saying. The floor is <laughs> go quiet. Go ahead. Go ahead, Jeff. Oh, okay. Um, the the first part and the second part, the answer is yes. Yes, you must deal with yourself. You must deal with yourself in order to get past the facade. In order to vibrate high enough to see past things, you got to deal with yourself. So that's what the, the, the process is about. Um, you have to, the, the more in tune you are with where you're supposed to be going, the more in tune you are with where you're not, how far you are off of that. You'll be able to feel that with this person. You'll be able to, you, it'll, it'll come to you. You won't, you'll be able to pick up on little clues. Like how clean is your house? <laughs> how clean is it really? Go in the bathroom and squat down and look and smell. That's all you got to do. <laughs> Now, <laughs> how clean were you on this date? Let me find out, Jeff. Be all up under the toilet's like. No, 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 bro. You ain't got to do that. You stand <laughs> right in front of the commode and squat down. A bathroom came fake clean from there. That's all you got to do. <laughs> Real simple stuff. How clean is your car? Is your car? Does your car? Look like a locker room. There's a bunch of fast food in there. I know what you feed your spirit. Look for these things. What do I feed my spirit? What should I be? Is this person doing that? The clues are right there, brothers. It's when you start looking for the superficial. That's how dudes get caught with these transsexuals. Because you keep looking for girls and not women. Women got stretch marks and grandkids. Don't nobody get no operation to get stretch marks so they look like they got grandkids. Find you a woman. Look for ah. women. Look for shit in women. Because it's that's what it's about. The ability to, to see that shit. It's there. Stop looking at that superficial shit. Stop looking at her doing the shit that she knows she's supposed to to hit the social marks that she knows she's supposed to. If she has a child, how good is his homework? Look at her baby's grades. If her baby has straight A's and she's involved, that's one thing. If her baby got C's and D's, And he always at grandma's he house. Sees it, bro. Oh, there you go. How often is he around? That baby got C's and D's. How, how involved is she there? What is the difference in potential there? Has she once asked you, do you know a math tutor? How does she deal with her child? How does she deal with people who can do nothing for her? This do is how you smell stank when you That's shouldn't? Not, I'm sorry. If you can smell stank when you shouldn't at the beginning, oh, you gonna smell stank when you shouldn't in the middle and at the end. Mm. Look for that <laughs> shit, the little shit. She ain't gonna come right out and go, nigga, I ain't shit. I got a body count, nigga. She, no, she not gonna come out like that. That's for you to find. And you find that by being in real situations. Take her on a picnic. Take her bowling. Go to the swimming hole. How does she act when she get close to water? <laughs> Witches don't like water. You gotta watch her how she do. Does she like dogs? How does she treat animals? Even if she don't like them, how does she treat them? 
Who is, what is her, what is her innocuous conversation? That shit you got to look for. I got a bunch of other shit to say. That's a big thing saying. right there, honestly. But I would love to hear what Dr. Lisa Williams has to say about the, the, the same situation. Agree or disagree? No, Jeff, Jeff was hitting it. You first of all, like he said, you have to start with you. Once you know you and you are in tune with yourself, you're going to be able to tell if another individual is, is on the same frequency as you or higher. And that's what you want to look for. People will show you and tell you who they are in the beginning. You just have to pay attention. And when you start off being you, you don't start with the facade. The woman will easily pick up on that and she's more readily apt to be herself and let her mm. hair down. That's that's when you're really going to see who she is. But if you come out, if you know that I'm a little goofy, I'm a thug, I'm, I, I'm all these things, be all those things when you see her, when you meet her, mm. be 100% authentically you and she will give you that back. If you don't like what you saw, bam, step off. If you're interested in seeing more, spend the time getting to know her, paying attention to her rather than, hey, I'm just going to get in her draws first. We know there's always that one night stand type of stuff, right, that people are going to do. But if it's something that you're really interested in, go with your gut trip, learn how to trust yourself. You have to start there first, because if you don't trust your own intuition, you're going to make a whole lot of mistakes. You have to pay attention to you. Do that first, and I, everything else will fall into place. Sure. So let yeah, me say this real quick. A lot of people have been. There's been a lot of agreement on here, even on parts that were contentious. It was contentious agreement. Yeah, they you know asked I mean? me where I get it from. I get it from my pops. Goes with a man in the house. <laughs> All the bullshit stops. You know what I mean? But no, it's like yo. There's a lot of agreement, and it seems like on the surface men and women are looking for the same thing. So where's the drama coming? Communication. Look it right out of my mouth. Bruh. Say it again. Say it one sex. more time for the uh, people guys, in the back. Guys, guys, guys. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, hey, little baby. <laughs> hey, King. Hey, little, little prince. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, I think that's a prince or princess. Oh, uh, we got to the communication is such an easy basis, like playing goose. That's a big old tree to touch. Uh, communication. I'm in a room full of people who are the descendants of people who taught the earth to speak. We're going to have to get back to those people with one another. Everybody here who, and I'm going to go there, everybody here. Who blesses their food in Jesus name needs to hear the following when the black woman gives the white man his hair back his God back and takes her man back all this shit's over it's over because that's when black people stand up and the road to that the road to that goes right through your spirituality and your research of self. Wow. Don't that communication, that's easy. Give when that both of back. you are babbling. <laughs> how can you get you're both babbling? So what the fuck does that mean? Good point. Beautiful point. What was it? Give the hair back and what? When the black woman gives the white man his hair back his God back and says, give me my man back. Oops. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when black people really turn inside? When there is no NFL cause they won't play. It's coming, but not for anybody who can justify <laughs> being owned by somebody white. Anybody who that doesn't turn their stomach, they're coming. They're coming, but that's that baby walking around in there with the chief. That that that's that generation right there. They're gonna be far enough removed from Hoda de Boko Shah and Al Sharpton to communicate with one another, the way the ancestors did, because the ancestors are coming back slowly through us, and it's gonna really hit the fan with them. The rest of us are, we're not really ready. 
we're, 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 we're standing, we're trying. And until we can grasp that this isn't your language you're speaking, that your last name isn't your last name, that you were bred and sold like puppies, and that you were here before the Indian, until you can get all of that together and understand that and communicate from there and seek and walk toward there with one another, we are gonna continue to have communication as the, as the, the easy word to say. How many of us here want to look our God in the face and ask how he got there? How many of us want to really, really go back to who we really, really are. Cause until you do that, all it is is just arranging deck chairs on the Titanic, bruh. And that I hate to go way in, but playing around with the word communication, I hear it too much. And I feel you, you know what I'm saying? And you went deep, but I feel you. I think Oracle has something to say about that same point. I mean, I was just gonna say um, inexperience and immaturity also. When I say immaturity, not like you're a child, but you lack certain benchmarks and skill sets that you should have at certain points of your life, or that person does, one or the other, maybe both. And that's a huge problem in relationships as well. That's why I tell you guys about the housekeeping. If you're working on yourself all the time, right, you're gaining those skills. So when you're 40, you're coming into the harvest of your, your wisdom. Right. Um, mm -hmm. Jay asked about the facade. Like they said, if, if you're working on yourself all the time, eight months cannot possibly go by and you're just seeing the person. Food. They can't mm -hmm. keep that facade up mm -hmm. for that. Come on, Mama. It's impossible. You're going to see the red flags right off jump. Conversation. When people are narcissistic and they talk about themselves, bless that brought it up. She want to talk about in this and this. The more they talk, the more they're telling you who they actually are, what their character actually looks like, what their values are, what they place value on, or what they don't place value on. So you would probably be a month in, and you're like, nah, he ain't for me. Maybe less. Yeah, yeah, on some levels, yes, sister, uh, on some levels, and and I do, I, I yes, and, yes, and, uh here is a place you have just set women free from a level one player there are dudes that that love that level two and beyond will use that girl right there because these are the dudes i'm telling you about and they truly shouldn't exist because there is no man that is stronger than black female intuition. This super slick 007 ass dude that's got you bitch, that's doing all the other, he doesn't exist. He doesn't exist. There is a bunch of shit you have to ignore. There's a bunch of it. And once you turn on that, which is what the brother was talking about with coaching the kids and his lady meeting all of the players and getting involved, you know what she's doing? She's loading her third eye Mama see some shit you don't, bro. She she gonna she about to put that African third that that work that connected to the moon third eye on it. And if her third eye ain't got no snot in it, dude, you are a fool if you do not listen to her. Listen, I ain't say take it all. I ain't say take it all now. But you better damn listen. And that's the girl you got to find. And that's what you got happening in your life, bro. That's oracle work. She's doing. She's doing that oracle work. Them the women, bro, they out there. They out there. All sisters are powerful. Just a lot of them are using their powers for evil. <laughs> and with that, Dr. Lisa Williams. <laughs> <laughs> you like how I threw you under the bus, right? Go ahead, go. <laughs> well, you know, I, you have to understand or know if you're dealing with a woman or a girl, right? And that comes with one knowing yourself and paying attention to who you're talking to. Just be age doesn't make you a woman nor a man. You got to look at their maturity level. 
when a, a lot of women are immature a lot of women let's keep it real don't know how to take their experiences and experiences from the past and let that be the past and learn how to move forward with at the same time having learned from the things that they've gone through they carry it forward it's it's the truth women aren't the only ones to do that but that happens um but oh, ma'am. communication when we talk about communication communication is more than just i'm speaking to you i'm listening to you you have to be an active listener. You have to, you're looking at body language. You're doing all of these things when we're talking about communication. How are you digesting it, right? How are you How are you receiving it? Something that's given to you from the sender, how are you receiving it? Are you truly receiving what they're saying to you? Or are you receiving it under the pretenses of how you feel at that moment? Because we work off of emotions, and depending on where your emotions are that day is how you take things from people. It's, things can be easily taken out of context when it's not meant that way, but that's where your mindset is, right. that's mm-hmm. where you are for the day. So we have to pay attention to all those things. Uh, Go ahead, Jeff. Uh, you with love. I loved. Right. I, I, I'm you. Uh, you hit many nails on many heads, uh, and I would say ninety two point seven percent of that I agree with I absolutely do Uh, the part and it's it's it seems small but I think it is very important especially for us we have to dispense with the you're a girl and not a woman that's dangerous you're a boy and not a man that's dangerous because it allows you it allows you it, it prohibits you from dismissing failure he is a man he has failed at it he is not a boy if he robs a liquor store he is going to jail for 25 or more years he is a man if he enlists in the army and the place he goes gets blown to shit They'll send you 50 grand and a flag. He is a man. He is a shitty, so shiftless, irresponsible man. Yeah. She is a woman. Let's clarify is, that. I'm almost done. She is a woman. She is a woman. She is a trifling, disrespectful, vindictive, foul, gutter snipe of a woman. But she needs to work on that because she has failed. And to say... It's dangerous. These are words. These are words. You get. You ain't no man. Uh uh-uh. uh. You in the race? Get your shit. To come on. Uh uh-uh, uh, man. And while you are a failure, when I think of it that way, it is much easier to dismiss you because of your failures. As a man, comma man, you can't. Don't do that. So let's clarify that. When you're looking at, are you dealing with? a woman or a girl, man or boy, air quotes, we're talking mindset. Once you get to be a certain age, you're considered a woman. Once you get to be a certain age, you're considered a man, but that doesn't mean that that's where you are mentally. You be speaking with a 35 year old woman, but you're talking to a 15 year old girl with the mindset. So I should have clarified that I did not, I apologize, but that is what I meant. Sure, sure, absolutely. There you and go. That, that, shit, what else can you say other than, than Puck? We, uh, you got 100%. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of 92.7. Yeah, yeah, now I'm 100. There you go, thank you, Chief. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ain't that what we were after? And, yeah. that's, and see that right there, that right there is part of the process of us as black men and women initiating the healing process. You said, I agree with everything you said, except for 92.7 of that. And then you told her what it was. She thought about it and she was like, let me clarify it so you can better understand what I meant. And now you up at a hundred percent. That's the shit right there that makes relationships, whether it's you're in the relationship or you are in a friendship, or you are an acquaintance. That's what makes it work. So, I mean, that was a, this is 
this shit right here, this shit right here, this shit right here <laughs> that we are talking about is fucking beautiful. And this is what makes us grow as individuals so that we can take what we have in this forum, let it materialize inside of us and let us mature a little bit more so that we can go forth with our mate, with our friends, with our acquaintance, whatever, and then grow as human beings so that we can get back to the point to where we are of dominance because the ancestors are speaking. The ancestors are coming. We are in a great awakening at the beginning stages. The little, the, my little man that I bring, yeah, he is going to realize that. Yes, he sir. is going to be one of the leaders. He is going to be one that says, "My papa taught me this." How about that, my bro? Gigi, who is the first lady, taught me this. How about that, bro? And then they are because he's going to have a black woman wow. by his side, wow. not behind him. Not in front of him, but by his side. And they will look like the statues that I seen down in Africa with that right foot going forward because they are alive, not deceased. And then once that happened, the crown will be put back on both of their heads and the little baby's head. And then the world will reset again. And then we'll go back to Chief, you're cracking up a bit. Question. What part? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sister. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, go, go ahead, ahead, Jeff. Uh, uh, what part of Africa did you go to? Sinai, Egypt. Okay. And then I went and seen, then I went to Cairo and I went and seen the pyramids. Bruh. And what did you, you cannot, I was in, I was in, I was part of the National Forest. When? Uh, uh, 1990, 1989. In 1989. Oh, okay, I was yeah. Multi MFO and multinational force and observers. Yeah. Yeah. I, I went, yeah. I was, uh, I, uh, I'm a Marine. Yeah. And I used to, uh, perform, I used to, uh, do USO tours. Okay. And right when I started to say some ain't right, we were sent to Egypt, to Cairo, to Jordan, to Joe Berg. Mm hmm. And, I beg you, black people, stop just going to the Caribbean. Go to Ghana. Yeah, go to go, go to, to the original continent. Go. Go. Go see this love over there. It ain't just strange bugs and hippopotamuses and lions and shit. They are lying to you. <laughs> it is much bigger. Oh, thank you, baby. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Uh, it's about time for me to eat because my blood sugar gets low. So guess what? Mrs. Brown just brought me this big old salad. Thank you, baby. Thank you. <laughs> I love you. No. That's, bro. No. You got to earn that shit. I, you got I, to earn no. that shit. You got I, to I, earn I, not hearing, not having this voice in her head say, fuck that hungry bastard. Let him sit his talkative ass in there till he goddamn die. <laughs> You got to give her some ammunition against that mind. So you feed the relationship and then out of nowhere, without asking, you get a goddamn salad. <laughs> Go ahead, Go ahead Oracle. Oracle. No, I mean, I know, but I still want to. Um, one of the things, Cash and I have been married for 20 years. And one of the things that has helped us immensely is precision of language. Mm. If we even mm. start to have a conflict, we set up, because we're military, right? So we set up rules of engagement for this particular conflict. And the number one rule is precision of language. And the precision of language is really direct, concise statements, right? This way you kind of take the emotion out of it. Um, we're able to better diagnose what the actual problem is because we're not talking about our feelings as much as we are using the conflict as a way to investigate what the problem actually is and what type of approach we need to take for the solution. And I worded it that way because at 20 years, like you don't have time for the constant bickering and 
yelling and screaming. And I told you guys that Cash and I are together all day long, every single day. Nobody leaves the house for eight hours a day, 10 hours a day, 12 hours a day, because we work on our business together. So one of the things you guys can take home is the precision of language. Concise language isn't long-winded conversation. It's very direct statements, and it just kind of takes a lot of the emotion out, and it just helps you get to that solution a lot faster and more effective. How do you how do you run that though? Because that's part of I, I think a, a big issue with a lot of couples where you don't get precise language. You get well, I'm going to talk to you about what's going on right now in terms of what happened eight years ago. And that shit is still bothering me. And this shit is all I have to really get that point across. Even though I'm not, I have, I'm not talking about today at all. You know what I mean? So how do you develop that precise language to where everybody's on the same page? Well, again, I told you, right, different people are at different levels. I've been with Cash since I was 19. We're 40 now. Wow. wow. That shouldn't be. Wow. I you understand what I'm, I'm sorry. Like, that, that just touched me, man. That's what's up. That shouldn't happen. No, 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 no. But, I know it shouldn't happen. But what we're talking about is y'all been together for 20 years. 20, what, 22 years now? You know what I mean? We've been married so, for 20 years. Yeah, uh, bro. Can well, I throw my... this in parentheses, please? Go ahead. I think these people need an extra special salute for these 20 years. Because look at which particular 20 years. This ain't 1957 to 1977, right. nigga. This is modern era. This is BET this is Uncut. This is <laughs> uh, BET. Uh, this is social media. This is social media, nigga. They deal with some Mexico. shit Big Mama them didn't deal with. <laughs> they still dealing with it. It's dealing it's with it now. Media. So wow. whatever the hell you got to say, 20 years, <laughs> they dealing with the, where did you get a gold or a platinum ring? Because it's a lot less divorces with gold rings. Dig it. Uh, <laughs> it's you. It's They dealing with all of that. They dealing, it's more manless, bitter heifers running around that she got to ignore. More idiotic, stupid ass, wasn't raised by no man dudes that he got to ignore. Mm. Wow. That's real. And I'm thirsty too. Look at that. I think they should, <laughs> I think, I think, I think they should get an official cash money taking over for the nine, nine and the two thousand. <laughs> Bruh. I'm just saying, I just had to put that out there. That just took, cause you don't hear about that group of people very often. Now you hear about your big mom and them all the time. See, How often and, and you hear people and that age say But that? see, and that's what I'm talking about. Like, yo, you guys are something that other couples aspire to be. So where you say, okay, that shouldn't happen. The problem is it's actually happening. And because of that, we need to know what y'all are doing to combat the stuff from happening because we wasn't raised right. <laughs> <laughs> but not to say that you weren't raised right, what I'm saying is when I talked about um, meeting certain benchmarks at certain points in your life, people are missing the benchmarks because they're not doing the housekeeping. So one of the laws, one of the universal laws is everything goes to entropy. Everything goes from order to disorder, right? It's one of the laws of thermodynamics. When you start to see like Kanye West, he was crazy when he was 20, but he was able to hold it together better. You're starting to see now at like 40, people are like not able to hold it together because they haven't really been doing the housekeeping in their 20s and 30s. So as far as precision of language goes, right, that's some work that you should be doing for yourself anyway, right? More clear and concise statements, right? Like think about what you're going to say before you say it. You know, <laughs> Dr. Lisa said earlier, like, don't just listen to respond to react. We've talked about that several weeks in a row. If you mm -hmm. actually took the time to think about what you were going to say before you say it, it would be more clear and concise. Okay. Right, because you're not talking from a place of emotion. You're now talking from a place of objectivity. I'm actually listening to what you're saying. I'm thinking about it in my mind. I'm considering your perspective. So now I have to take a more objective approach to respond. Sure. Now, may I? 
Oh. I I let me let me preface this by saying uh yes to a lot of that. Uh Kanye part? Okay. Um, yes, but I'm put a little asterisk on it, sis. I put a little asterisk on it. Okay, we gonna have to agree that the Kardashian pound, car, the Kardashian yeah. compound, yeah. like the wrong vagina, yeah. is where mm. a young man's dreams yeah. go to die. I guess. Absolutely. They are okay. very tough. Okay. Gotta put an asterisk yeah. on that. Yeah. All but, they, yeah. they didn't suck the souls out of all them brothers, please. Okay. Every <laughs> single one of them. I don't know what they doing over there, Chief. They do hey, so that too. Huh? They just suck it some soul. How how Chris Chris need to come on be people. Yes. Well Chris need to be honest that that's OJ's baby. Y'all know exactly. who I'm talking about. That's OJ hey. baby. Oh we went deep. We yep. went deep. Chloe. Oh. Chloe gone, girl. Don't avoid it. OJ <laughs> your dad. Like the juice. I'm sorry. But uh, yeah. Yeah. But that's oh, hands like the juice. That's a good yes. point. That's a good I had, point. Had, uh, had another another small point to make. Uh, what, what, what you are saying is absolutely true, especially being me from the military. My wife being raised by a wife, a mother <clears throat> who is in the army, uh, us being educated, concise people. That makes sense to us. What, what, even to us, and that your way does yes to your way. Our way is just a little different. This is me to her or her to me. Me to her. Dang. Tell me what you felt. And I'm going to tell you what I saw. Okay. That's how we start arguments. Mm. You tell me what you felt. And I'm going to tell you what I saw. Because I am a man. And I am a creature of habit, logic, and order. Over emotion. I got some emotions. You know, if I'm high on the right shit, I can cry. I'll cry at Tombstone if I'm high on the right shit. <laughs> I, got, I got emotions, but I don't lead with them. And that's good right. that I don't. You have emotions, and damn it, I hope you lead with them, because it's a bunch of shit I'm blind to if you're trying to act like me. Mm. So uh, let's figure that out. And that's where we start. And then we figure in articulate and that might be something that was developed over time <clears throat> but there's some people watching this that are the the masters of apostrophe misuse you know how people put yeah let me put that out there dear black people if you're wondering if an apostrophe goes there you're fucking wrong don't do it <laughs> just don't do it if you if you think it might don't it's okay that you're wrong because most of the times you're wrong. Those kind of people are watching this. So they they're, they going to articulate their way into a deeper argument because they ain't good at articulation. Mm. But just about everybody can go, look, baby, tell me what you felt. I'm going to tell you what I saw, and we going to be nice to each other because yeah. I don't want to fight. And it should be as simple as that. You know what I mean? Because I think I, I think a lot of the times, like you said, you know, I, I mentioned earlier about, you know, brothers feeling like, you know, they're taken for granted is because simply. No one listens to. What a brother got to say, you know, what I mean, and it starts, you know, from work starts from, you know, all types of different fields. But then when you get home, it's like, yo. You not listen to me either. What you felt, <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you what I saw. Exactly. <laughs> tell me what you felt. You gotta make a song out, and I'm gonna tell you what I saw. Now I'm gonna write a song about sisters and brothers <laughs> straightening it out. Is it gonna be funky as your grandpa's feet? Man, can nobody else hear that? Tell me. Nobody else. I right. feel you, bro. That's nigga. That's why. I'm, okay, watch. Put that on my damn album. Right. Real quick, man, real quick. Before we, you know what I'm saying, before we get out, I just want to make sure we promote what it is you doing. Tell them about giraffe balls. Tell them about everything that you got going on. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, when you get a chance, YouTube, NTS, Big Herc, 
Big Hurt, shout out to Big Hurt 916, my business partner. We finna bust you in the face. Go check out NTS. Stands for Niggas Talking Shit. You already know. All right. He breaks it down. I break it down from a male perspective that the shit young bucks need to have. Giraffe balls. I'm going to do that. What time is it? Six. Nine o'clock tonight in three hours. Go to YouTube. Look up giraffe balls. One word. Z on the end. Search me out. I'll be there at GB Funny Style on everything. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's all I can talk about right now because I got nah, some man. shit I can't talk about. That's a, that, that's, a, that's a good thing. You know what I'm saying? We appreciate you coming on. You know what I'm saying? And we appreciate your, you know, your insight on all of the topics that we have. You know what I mean? <laughs> and love, love. I say it in love. It's harsh, but with, with Big Daddy and Big Mama gone, and that's what I meant to tell you. Is the chief? Yeah, there's the chief. Chief, you move yeah. around on my screen. Don't do that. I'm I had to. I had. I'm sorry. My bad. I had to switch to my phone and shit because <laughs> I don't. I'm at. Okay, I'm sorry. at work and the internet ain't shit. Sorry. Okay. You, you're, fucking <laughs> with, you're fucking with my high. This is good shit. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking right where the brother. Is that brother Pete? Hey, brother Pete. Uh, What's uh, up? Yes. Uh, God damn it! I was gonna make a point. Big Mama. Big mama. Big mama ain't here, yeah. Yes, yes, sir. What you was talking about with that baby, I've said it here before, I believe, and I will say it again. When you watch the sci-fi movies, go back. Watch the sci-fi movies, the ones that are about 2060, 2052, mm -hmm. 2070. Those old people are us. We are it, chief. We are the last of you better be in the house before the street lights come on. Yeah. We are the last of Big Mama's recipes. We are the last of Big Mama's wisdom. Big Mama went to shit after That's us. That's on some real shit, y'all. You are the keepers of wisdom. You cannot be. You, you, you grown ass, yeah. No ma'am Mondays. Let me say this as I follow, as I get out of here. It's a goddamn shame that there's such a glutton of men that we don't get to talk about here today, that sisters get to complain about. Mm. It's a goddamn shame, brothers. Look yourself in the mirror and be worthy of who it is that is trying to get back here to who you're attracted to. Somebody special. Stop making your babies bounce a ball. You fucking up time travel. It's going to come from you. Be those people, man. Be those people. Sisters, be those people. Be the best self. Find the best you because I believe those numbers are one to one. There is a good man for a good woman out there. The rest of it is fodder and let it be. Hmm. Fodder. I love it. You know, one of the one of the greatest things, and this is kind of off the subject, but one of the greatest things uh, I think Jeff Brown said, and we were actually going to make it a law. You know what I mean? How long are you stretching the show? We still got nine minutes. We still got nine minutes. I wanted to make sure you got that out there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but this is where... I like to I like to try and and touch on a couple of things because we got a couple of people on here, and because it is a hip hop show, we went real deep with Jeff last time he was on here. You know what I mean? Like he he brought up some real shit. You know what I'm saying? And this is this is a hip hop show. We That's say it all the time. So and this is for this is this is for Jeff Brown, but I I think I should ask Dr. Lisa Williams this first. You know what I'm saying? Because you know she she's on here as well. And I would love to know top five dead or alive MCs of all time. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, everybody say that shit. Every time. <laughs> Man, every time. Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris, that's why I Kamala catch you Harris off should have had that as a question. That's why I keep, <laughs> that's why I catch you off guard. We're talking all this Jeff, relationship. You got away shit. last time. You got away last time. Yep. 
No, no, no. Ooh, Jeff, yeah. Jeff broke deep. Jeff, Jeff got real deep what? last time. He sure did. Hey, I've been smoking too much. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> but no, no. <laughs> Dr. Williams, please. Top five that are alive MCs of all time. Mm. In order. I'm sorry. Five. Uh, in order. I don't I got to rank them. <laughs> I don't know if I can rank them, but I'm going to give you five. I don't know if I can rank well, them. Cause, well, cause from, listen, from five to one. We, we got yeah. some we got some greats. OK, we got some greats. So I'm going to give you the five that that comes to mind that I think about. And no pressure, no pressure. But this is just going to be like, OK, if anybody's going to listen to you, because you're going to be our featured guest very soon. If, if if this shit don't jive, people gonna be like, oh, she don't know what she's talking about. But go ahead, no pressure. Listen. You talking about no pressure. <laughs> stop, stop. Just on her looks alone, it's dudes on here going, damn, I wish my daddy had worked it out with that woman look like her. I really do. <laughs> All right, Dr. Williams, go ahead. Oh, gosh, let's see. KRS-One. Number five. Well, you you ranking them, but I'm I'm gonna give them to you. It's, it's hard for me to rank them. Okay, okay. But you rank them how you want, but that's one. Um, Tupac. Okay. Got to give it to him. Oh, um, Nas. Nas. Okay. 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 Should I put him in there? Or not? It take nine minutes. That's why we gave it to you. He's, he's, he's good. <laughs> mm. That's a great first date right. question. I'm gonna leave him out right now. Um, I'm gonna throw Biggie in there. Okay. <coughs> you, gotta listen, you gotta listen to him. Uh, that's three. And I, and mm-hmm. I'm and that's four. That's four. No, okay. I'm saying that was four, but he's number three. Oh, oh okay. two more. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, and I'm gonna more. give you Jay Z. Jay Z's number two. Who's your number one? Brrr, come on. Oh, she gave five. Oh, she gave you five. That was five. five. Jay Z gave five. one. Gave I'm five. sorry, I missed one. <laughs> what you I've got? Been, I've been I've been blazing. I see. Jeff. Yes, sir. You know what? First of all, I gotta say, now we can listen to you, Doctor Williams. <laughs> when you are our featured guest later on. We can say, you know what? She knows what she's talking about hip hop. She might know what she's talking about with relationships. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate that. That was a great list. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Be prepared to rank them next time you want. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, real quick, because I already know you ready. Number yeah. five. I already did my I did that last last yeah. Last week. You want me to do yeah. it again? Yes, I want you to okay. do it right. All right. Here we go. Now again, I got the same problem. Bruh, the era I come from is so rich. That very, uh, we don't want to hear that. I oh. produce music, <laughs> paint is we don't want to hear that. So, these I will say this the top three do not change, but there is so much honorable mention that don't get mentioned for four and five. Okay, there's so much. Okay, number five, uh, number five. I'm a oh my god, I'm gonna have to go with somebody that a, a lot that I'm gonna come with left hook, Cassidy. Oh, wow, uh. Master of the battle rap, and to be honest, what he said at the end of "I'm a Hustler," uh, I became the best at the B.I.G. Die, bruh. Hmm. It's Cassidy. He want to uh, bring it down for what I feel. Cassidy, number five, uh, number four, and this is unfair. Yeah. Number four, these three dudes: Black Thought, Man, Method Man, and Red Man. Oh, I Ooh. can't put none of them above each other, and Ooh, I feel right. guilty that they ain't in my top three because my top three is so personal. Shout out to Tribe Called Quest. Black Shout out to five. Jungle Brothers. Shout out to Ice T. If you don't have Ice T in your collection. You are not a record collector. You just a nigga with a bunch of records. Mm. <laughs> so where are we at? Are we at like, number three? I, I lost, we are I'm, number three because okay. I was fair. To, I think I've been fair so far, gentlemen. You mean like, like 87 I, groups in like two. Bro, because two, two they spots. need to be mentioned. It's unfair. <laughs> Shout out to two short. Ah, 
Uh, okay, come on. Okay, anyway, my, I, bro, I can do this. You're not being fair to the doctor. Okay, well, no, I'm not the trying doctor, to be fair the to the doctor. The doctor named five. Jeff, no you named come 87, you named 87 groups in okay. my three spots. You okay. 10 and number four. Come on, <laughs> come on. Okay, unfair, unfair. I'm sorry, Doc. Okay. Uh, <sighs> shit. Uh, uh, number number three, LL. Number two, Rock Him. Number mm. one, the Blastmaster KRS One. Mm. Now, okay. How do you leave Biggie out of that? See, the Doc I know. Guy. It's because it's top yeah. five that are alive. It's your top five. It's your top five. Hey, and, and your top five gotta be five. Yeah, hey, it was fire though. Shout out, yeah. shout out, yeah. shout out, shout out, shout out to Cash. Shout out to Cash. He want to name Wu Tang Clan as one. That Bruh. ain't one. That's Bruh. nine yeah, that's MCs. I, no, <laughs> Cash got a point. Cash got a gigantic Those... point. That's a gigantic point when bruh, it comes to the Wu Tang Clan, the bruh. Bees? Come on, it's, it it's about to, They always swarm it. It don't matter if they but won. They all won. But you guys are favorite. They even said it in one. No, they even said it in one of their albums. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on, Chief. Now you can like all of them, but you got your favorite. Yeah. Everybody got their favorite favorite child. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. What what are the Wu Tang really? members? If you go, really? Is your favorite. So you so like you trying to tell me? You trying to you tell God, me then? You God ain't on the same uh, level as Method Man. Jada Pro. You no. God. You God is but, not. Is not. But what is they, not. But, I got him. I got no, you, Chief. Not, but, Tag okay, my hand, go ahead, Chief. Go ahead. I got All you. Right, there it is. Bam, Pro, there it is. I hate to, go ahead. I hate to draw the sword on you, brother. Tag I hate to draw the sword again. on you. But when you talking about Wu Tang, yeah, I'm not gonna say that Method Man is my favorite when I'm on my way somewhere and I'm sharp as hell, which is most times top drop. <laughs> and hey, hey, hey. Baby, I got your money. Got your don't, money. You worry. don't you worry. Hey, hey. Dirty. Now, <laughs> how am I gonna say dirty is on my is on is my favorite when if my baby mama boyfriend put his hands on my kids, I'ma play. I came to bring the pain on the way over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> huh. And that's why they you gotta can't be one. make a favorite when you say Wu Tang. Cash got a point. Yeah. Raekwon, how I'm gonna pick Ghost over Raekwon? How I'm gonna pick any of this? Now I'm gonna never heard nobody. Let me ask y'all: how many y'all? How many y'all ever heard? How many of y'all have ever heard of a Master Killer album? We have. That was dope. Yeah, we have. It was dope. It was called Made in Brooklyn. Check it was out. Was it dope? Bruh. Yeah. Yes. Oh, bro. Shout out to the Killer Bees, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, Cass. The hip hop historian. No, no, no. I know it exists. I didn't say I don't know it exists. My it next question dope. to you was, is it it's dope? Dope. Yes. Master Hell Killer's yes, album dope. is not So you listen dope. to that as much as you listen dope. to Jizzle? <laughs> no. No, hey, but, real, I quick, listen, quick, no quick, but I don't listen. No, but I don't listen to Cold Train as much as I listen to. Hey, and, and exactly. So real quick, I gotta say this, yo. We about to we about to roll out. It is the radio show. Shout out to the Hip Hop Zone, everybody that's been listening in the air across. I should have looked at this earlier. Pardon me. Fire. I am so sorry. Oh, oh well, right now yeah. we are in 107 countries. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Big shout out to everybody that's checking us out. This is No Man Mondays. Shout out to Jeff Brown. You know what I'm saying? Giraffe balls. Check them out later on tonight in a couple hours. You know what I mean? Make sure you check them out. What's that? How many listeners? Man, I got to go click, keep clicking. Don't get now. fired. The Oracle yeah. just said I'm it. Sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Say I'm sorry. Oracle. I'll let you do it this time because he, he said I'm, I'm messing with him, so I ain't going to say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't every single show. He know we looking for that. Nigga, honey, since you know they are looking for this, one hundred and ninety-seven thousand <laughs> three hundred and thirty plus listeners. Please have Seriously, that number ready head. because they Seriously, keep sticking you in head. the ass with it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yo, okay, yo, that's where we was at. Big shout out to everybody checking us out. We are about to be out. If you are on, make sure you check out the Zoom. Go on power357radio.com. Click on the Zoom call, and we about to have an after party. 
I know Jeff After is eating party. right now, so you know. I'm about thing, to hit bro. y'all with some Cuban links. Oh wow! Oh. There we go. See, this is oh. how we gotta do it. You know what I'm saying? Ah. It's your man, bless the party, Sparker. It's your boy, Jay the Pro. Okay, Cash. Oh, it's Cash. I'm sorry. I'm still here. Where'd Jada Pro go? And the Oracle. Jay already did his thing, see? Yeah, we heard enough from Cash. Jesus Christ, shut the fuck up, Cash. <laughs> Word for yap, yap, yap all night from Cash. All night. No one wants to hear from <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Hip Hop Zone Radio. Power 357, uh, moving your music around the globe. And across the fader. Y'all keep it locked, y'all. Peace. <laughs>